Someone gave me one bill to make a video about my thoughts on EVE and where I think it's going to go in the next 10 years. So, let's get right into that. This is all coming from my own perspective, and I could be quite wrong about, well, all of this, but everything I say is at least a possibility. First off, I think the Trig Invasion will end once there are 27 final Luminalities, with the Triglavians moving into the Conquered systems. Expect new game mechanics to be introduced here, whether it's Stargate shutting down in those systems, or new PvE and PvP mechanics special to those systems. My personal favorite theory is that the systems will have their gates shut off and be new Trig space with the suns turning into giant wormholes. Following this, I think we can expect to see new Trig missions, perhaps centering around fleet action. I'd expect the LP stores to sell Triglavian faction modules, implants, BPCs, or materials. In addition, I expect there to be new Edencom NPCs doing the same thing. More on this later. Moving away from the Triglavian chapter, I think Tyracide will likely be continued, with modules like mining lasers or even guns being looked at. Another soon-to-happen change, and a change that will likely continue for the next 10 years, is going to be CCP trying to dial back ISK faucets, at least until they find the correct balance. Recently, CCP has hit Ore noms with a very, very heavy nerf bat, and I expect them to start maybe undoing a little bit of that, but perhaps not reintroducing them in the same way they were before. I know next to nothing about industry mining and PvE, so I'm not really qualified to talk about what would be a good direction for them to take here, but I can say that I expect them to make it favor smaller, more mobile groups. Though to be honest, this is an issue that's been brought up quite a bit already, and everyone knows that any big no block is just going to get enough space so they can move around. That or they're just going to get enough space that the negative effects from not moving around isn't going to impact them. Closely tied to shaking up ISK faucets is botting. We all know that there's been a lot of bots in EVE, and I think everyone, except maybe the botters, agree that they're a bad thing and need to get removed. I fully support changes to make botting more difficult, as well as just removing bots in general, but I understand why CCB has had difficulty acting here, as anything that makes botting more difficult also makes it more difficult for all those players who are grinding the same way bots are. CCP will have to find a way to change it in such a way that it doesn't inconvenience real players, and I don't think requiring CAPTCHAs at every new site is the answer. Maybe this involves better anti-body detection and quicker bans, or changing the in-game mechanics. I personally think that having a 60 second aggression timer when aggression modules, including using them on rats, are activated, might not be a terrible change. But then again, this is coming from someone who just wants to shoot other players. Overall, I think we can see CCP taking new actions to counter botting throughout the next 10 years. Closely tied with botting, ratting, and mining is Plex prices. I'm no stock analysis, but given the current trend of Plex, I'd assume we'd either see Plex continue to fall or stabilize. But, like I said before, I'm no stock analysis and I have no clue where Plex will go. I do know that Plex prices being stable means that there aren't any large fluxes in the amount of players plexing, which I assume is a good thing, and I also know that many players consider lower plex prices to be an indicator that EVE's economy is doing well, and it's the most stable commodity to judge inflation of ISK based off of, given that plex is tied to a real currency. And to be honest, all the industry ratting, mining, and market changes that could happen in the next 10 years are really up in the air for me. Given how little experience I have in these areas, I can't really give any statement with assuring. Everything I'm saying is Pretty much just me guessing with no background knowledge at all. Let's move into an area which I have quite a bit more experience in, PvP. I believe CCP is likely to continue to balance the meta, like they've been doing for the last 15 years, but maybe with a bit more aggression, because they've been shown recently that they aren't afraid of being seen as aggressive. I think we can look forward to seeing new ship lines, whether it be new faction ship lines like destroyers and battle cruisers for all the factions that are missing them, or entirely new Tech 2 ship lines like the fabled and currently unseen heavy attack bomber. Speaking of rebalances and new ships, I think we can see both the Edencom line and the Triglavian line to receive balance passes in the next couple of years. In the Triglavian line, I think we can just see a few minor polishes. I'll be honest, I'm currently at a loss to say what I would change. Moving on to the elephant in the room, which is Edencom ships. Yeah, 
Like, it's they're a mess right now. They are really expensive, their ammo prices, skill book prices are through the roof. I expect CCP to take a look at these, the most obvious one being increasing the availability of the resources required to make them as well as the skill books. Because right now, both the scarcity and the lack of skill books on the market puts it in a really interesting dynamic, where Tech 2 modules for this ship, specifically the Tech 2 gun and the Tech 2 ammo, are significantly cheaper than their Tech 1 variants, because no one has the skill books to fly them, and there is no demand to encourage people to really make these in the first place. And I'm expecting these materials to be made available through what I'm hoping are soon to become a new Eating Calm and Triglavian NPC missions, allowing for, well, more fluidity in the markets, as well as just more volume in opening up these ships to some cool fleet comps. We now come to what I consider to be the most important change that CCP can make, and ironically the one that I have the least knowledge about, and that's new player retention. I don't think it comes as a surprise to anyone to learn that EVE's total players have been in a steady decline, that EVE's search term relevance, I'm not sure how exactly Google Trends does it, but in Google Trends, EVE Online is also going in a constant decline. Recently, EVE Echoes has caused a small spike in popularity, which is already decreasing. But it's better than nothing, and I'm not sure how that's going to impact new player numbers. I think CCP knows they need to look at the new player experience. That's where their new players go to first, and that's where they're going to decide if they're going to stay or not. I'll be honest, like I said earlier, I'm not really sure where CCP could go with this. Perhaps changing the tutorial around to be a little bit more user-friendly, maybe lowering the skill point requirements on stuff like destroyers and frigates to allow newer players to get into those ships quicker. There's not a lot of great options for opening up the game to a less competitive or more casual player audience, and maybe that's on purpose. Maybe EVE doesn't need all those new players, and the core base that it has is enough, but the only issue is, it doesn't look like it's enough. EVE, like I said earlier, has been in a constant downward, not spiral, but downward slope, and it's making a lot of people wonder, is EVE even going to be around in the next 10 years? And I'm not a game developer, I don't know what would help, and I'm sure CCP has spent a lot of time trying to figure out what would help, and I'm near positive they're working on stuff to help the state of the game right now, making it more enjoyable, making it so more people are likely to stay once they start, making it so new players can join easier. A whole mess of things that I'm probably not aware of that they're working on right now as I speak. But that's something that I think they need to communicate a bit better because I don't know about any of those actions taking place. I do know about a few things, like they have new player rewards and GMs have been shown to give new starting packages to people, but everything else is in the dark for me, and as a player, that makes me just slightly concerned that maybe CCP is just looking to move their focuses away from EVE Online, which means I'm less likely to continue putting my time and effort into EVE if I believe it's not going to be a thing tomorrow. Now, I still have faith and trust in CCP. I don't think they're going to do anything that's going to hamstring their own game. That being said, a lot of people who have been in the game longer than I have been have kind of lost faith in CCP. Take that as you will. In the back of my mind, there's the voice that's telling me that CCP is probably trying to get a new project to pull a lot of their revenue from so they can put EVE Online on the back burner. And I doubt this, considering the luck that they've had with other projects, but the fact that they continue these other projects isn't looking good. Maybe CCP will have a big breakthrough and get a new super popular and super successful game. And what happens to EVE Online after that is I think a 50-50 split between it becoming less and less of a priority 
or e online being a newer, higher priority, as CCP now has the money to actually invest more time and effort into it. I think EVE Online, right now, is going to continue in the direction that it's been going, and for the next 10 years, probably continue along the same trajectory. The only issue with trying to predict 10 years in the future is if EVE Online makes a teeny change in the direction it's going to now, that can be a drastic change 10 years down the road. And I don't have enough information to really make an accurate judgment on that. I think we can expect to see EVE Online continue in the way it's been going for quite some time. I don't think CCP is going to pull a fast one and completely change the direction of EVE, especially not within the next year or so. I think part of the reason why EVE Online is so stable is its player base has been with EVE for a while and they're likely to continue to be with EVE for quite a bit longer. So I expect EVE to be EVE in the next 10 years. I don't see any significant changes and everything that I've said so far are just the natural progression of where I expect it to go. I'd like to say thank you to Kret Kong who gave me one billionist to make this video a reality. If you guys like this sort of video and you want me to make more, feel free to mail me either at this YouTube account or in-game with a request as well as how much you'd be willing to donate towards said video. And if there's enough interest, I'll definitely make more of these. Now, this is the part of the video where I would say thank you, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment I guess because the YouTube algorithm likes that. You don't need to worry about commenting because I don't even have ads set up on this so it's not like I care about the YouTube algorithm. But if you guys drop a subscribe or a like it lets me know if you want more videos in the future and it also lets me know if this particular video was entertaining. That being said, if you hated this, definitely pass that dislike down there so I can see that, okay, this is not something I should do in the future.